Good mayor is actually one of um, one of the mayors that stays off the radar from me. Um, not that we don't work great with he and his team, but uh, he doesn't give me a lot of ammunition to shoot at him with uh, stuff. You know, you look at his Facebook page, he's got one picture of, it, of a beach. It's a little small beach, so I, I think we know where he's at. Over at your place. Um, <laughs> He, uh, he's actually a very, very smart man. I'm gonna, let me show you one. Um, he's got a BA in legal studies, a BA in radio and television, an active real estate license. He's the VP of an engineering group. And he was voted best looking male mayor of the bar <laughs> Now, it's not like we set the bar very high. <laughs> But still, that's an accomplishment. I mean, I, I don't know when he's mayor, because apparently he's running his real estate business and doing all this other stuff, but good job. I mean, it's, it's amazing to watch him work. You think it's, it's amazing to watch him work? Wait till you hear him speak. It is just, oh my God, it's exhilarating. I, I, I think you're, if you've got a seatbelt, go ahead and pass it. This is going to be something else. All right, Scott, it's all yours. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, See what I mean? <laughs> this is my first live performance here. So. Thank you very much, Emperor of Heidi. Uh, that introduction was awesome. Um, you kind of stole my thunder with Hal and uh, Dan Diesel here. And Dan is like Hal personally eclipsed when he brought my thunder. Um, I couldn't even see it. It's amazing. Um, in all seriousness, um, Here's what's going on in Lee Harbor Beach. Uh, we have kind of four categories of priorities uh, that, we've, uh, that we've been working on. Uh, starting off with a, providing a safe and secure community. Uh, some of the ongoing initiatives and priorities are a continuation of our victim advocate program. Um, how the program is over, you're probably going to need this. So I'll get you a free pass if you like to, to do that. Um, We've also been providing a full-time resource officer at Ocean Beach Elementary School. Uh, we continue our bicycle, beach, and boat patrols. We have our e-commerce safe spot. So for those of you that do business on uh, Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, it gives you a safe alternative to have a neutral zone to meet that is monitored 24 hours a day, uh, video by, uh, by our police department. Um, we also support our dedicated members of our volunteer fire department, of course, with vehicle replacements and equipment replacements and maintaining the facilities. Uh, we also fully support our police department. We are in the process right now of building a five and a half million dollar, 17,000 square foot police department headquarters, similar to Cocoa Beach's headquarters, and we're very excited about that. Um, that'll be finished in late fall of this year, so we're looking forward to a ribbon cutting for that. Um, but we've been able to do that without incurring any debt or raising the taxes on our residents. Um, another major priority, of course, is the Indian River Lagoon. Um, you know, ben said a lot of what I was going to say in terms of what it takes to make things better. It took many decades to uh, degrade the lagoon, and it's going to take a long time to get it back to an acceptable level. Um, and we're pretty built out. We don't have a lot of room. We don't have a lot of extra land to purchase uh, for in sub-regional stormwater treatment ponds or uh, anything large like that, anything large scale. Um, so we do, you know, there's some low-hanging fruit that we take care of, such as converting grass beans to treatment swales and bioswales. Um, we just completed construction of a second-generation baffle box for one of our more significant drainage basins within the city. Uh, we're in the planning process for another baffle box for the next fiscal year. Um, we are working also with our sister city, Satellite Beach, to commence work on a $10.5 million muck removal project for the uh, Grand Canal. This project's going to remove 188,000 cubic yards of muck and 31,000 pounds uh, per year of nitrogen. Um, the next category is our parks, beaches, and sidewalks. We continue to invest in these areas. Our Recreation Department and Public Works Departments do a phenomenal job of maintaining a very high uh, level of service for our residents and visiting public. Um, some of the projects we have going or have completed recently are replacing our pedestrian lighting at uh, Gleason Park with LED lighting. Um, we've also been we're getting ready to start replacement of our dune crossovers and our pavilions within our uh, B 
speech parts. Uh, we're also starting to prioritize sidewalk connectivity for areas within our city. Uh, we have plenty of sidewalks, but there's still there's gaps. There's and not a lot of thought was put in way back when to destination points and the connectivity associated with that. Um, a lot of the destination points weren't, weren't even in existence when the sidewalks were built. So we're going to prioritize that. We're going to work on more of a, a, a bikeable, walkable community. Um, the last thing on that list is uh, prioritizing and planning for the uh, build out of the remaining 11 acres of our Algonquin Sports Complex. You know, I did just say we don't really have any land left to construct stormwater ponds. Um, just so happens this 11 acres is in the highest part of our city, so it's not real conducive for a stormwater pond. Uh, finally, it's financial sustainability. Uh, we continue to be debt free. Uh, we maintain significant reserves in the event of emergencies, and uh, our real rate of 5.64 ranks us in the, I think we're sixth lowest in the county. So, in closing, I want to thank all the mayors for being here, especially Hal Rose. Hal has absorbed some abuse over the years about his short stature and has done so with grace. I, for one, as a friend of Hal, I am not about to poke fun at such a nice little guy. <laughs> now, Hal's one of those salt and mirror type of guys. He's very, he's just very honest, caring person. Uh, I love him to death. Um, you, know, you have to admit, Hal is literally the definition of down to earth. <laughs> so with that, thank you very much. <laughs>